In this video, we will continue with the Scalar product. You will find this on page 242 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. The vector AB is this. The point A is this. Find the coordinates of the point B. Okay. Now we're going to make use of position vectors. So let's do that. So basically, we are going to say, okay, if A is this, the position vector will just be, I just put a I, a J, a K. If I want to find A, B, it's the second one minus the first position vector. Now, it's, it's basically you just rearrange. It's you basically, and we did it in a previous example, you make that the subject of the formula. So if you leave this and you take, then I'm adding the positive plus O, A. Okay, and then I write it. And I get, and if I ask you the coordinate, remember it's I, J, K. So it's actually 0, J. So it's negative 1, 0, and 9. Okay. And then the vector C, D, uh, find the value of Q when A, B, and C, D are perpendicular. Now, can you remember what's perpendicular? That's the property. If, if it's perpendicular, then I know that the scalar product will be equal to 0. Okay. So, um, find, uh, the, find the vector Q when A, B, and C, D are perpendicular. There's A, B, there's C, D. I know that if it's perpendicular, the scalar product will be zero. So, I put it equal to zero, and then I form a linear equation, and I find that the my value of Q is 13 over 3. Okay. Um, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Oh, I'm making it bigger, not smaller. Okay, let's start. Number one. Okay, I have that A and it's I. I plus 7J plus 3k. And then I have B and that is I minus J plus 2k. And then I have C is 2i plus J minus 3k. Okay. Okay. So if the question say show that A is perpendicular to B. I'm going to find the scalar product and I will show that it's, it's having a result of zero. Okay, so let's first find, this is number A, let's find the dot of the scalar product of AB. And that is going to be 1, and there's also 1, and there is a 7, and there is a negative 1, and there is a 3, and there is a 2. Two. And that will be 1 minus 7 plus 6. So I get that the scalar product is 0. So therefore, if uh, dot B equals 0, then A and B are perpendicular. Okay, and then I will look at number B. Show that A is perpendicular to C, so it's more or less the same. So I'm going to find the scalar product of A and C. Okay, so there is A, it's 1. There is C, it's 2. There is A, it's 7. There is C, it's going to be 1. And, oh, okay, yes, a J, and, and then plus 3, negative 3. And that is going to give me 2 plus 7 minus 9 is 0. And I'm ending exactly the same. I'm saying, therefore, if 
a dot c scalar product zero then a and c are perpendicular okay this was very very easy i think the next one will be a bit more challenging but victors is actually a nice chapter in the ace level was also in the higher level.